up, Revenue You? It's your boy Eddie here. This weekend was a success, I'd say. I think from Friday to about 10 minutes ago, we had all types of orders. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I can't show you those address. Six, seven, eight, uh, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 packages, one weekend, let's go baby, most expensive package I think was 75 bucks, we made like $57 profit after shipping and all that, getting our money back, and then I think our biggest package was 5 pairs of Nike shorts for 60 bucks, so revenue you, remember better profits, better you, always focus on building yourself, building your knowledge, you know, and securing that bag. Yes, sir. Keep a positive mindset. I'll see y'all at the post office. It's time. UPS time. USPS time. I don't think I've actually used UPS before. Watch your step. Watch your step, babe. It doesn't look like Halloween anymore. It's literally one day after. Packages. Say hi, Lidna. Hi. Yo, it's not too cold out here, but it's slight chilly. I think my nose is turning pink. My whole face is turning pink. And her eyes are watery. Don't cry. Yo, we're almost there, I'm trying to tell you. Hang in there, hang in there. Almost there, just a few more minutes. I wonder if this is picking up any of my uh, audio. If so, that means this wind muff is working like a bit. That's a thrift store across the street. I mean, <laughs> USPS across the street. We finally made it. Let us cross. Compassion care. Brown building on the right here. Here. I need you to put this away from me. Alright, I'll see you guys afterwards. That thing is long. Lord have mercy. A successful weekend. Now to a new week. We already uh, got three packages, but we sent them out with that load there. So, uh, to a new week. Let's go. New profits. Better profits, better you. Revenue you, baby. Alright, I'll see you at home. Yo, so look what we just came upon. Walking down the street, back from USPS, and this box said free on it. So we're taking it home. I saw a jewelry box on top. A nice jewelry box, a nice wooden one, but there's a bunch of stuff under. And it's kind of heavy, so I'll see you at the crib. Later. Alright, so we emptied that free, that free box that was sitting on the side of the road. It was labeled yard sale on top of one of these flaps here. I think it's the other flap. Oh, yard sale. Bang. Free. But anyways, it was on the road, so we picked it up. And we emptied it out. Got a bunch of free package paper. Let's go. Shout out to whoever put that out. All right. One of the first things I want to show you guys. This vintage dish. What is it? Here. Grab this real quick. Flip this over. This vintage dish. James Kent LTD Hydrangea. Flip it. I looked up uh, listed and sold comps, or listed comps. I'm looking at like forty to sixty bucks. That's wild. We also got this vintage um, bur uh, butter dish from Germany. Looking at another like thirty dollars, twenty thirty dollars. This um, it's like a fruit holder. I don't know, something like that. K and Co. Ltd. 1965. Looking at about fifty sixty bucks. Between those items, over a hundred dollars profit. That's wild. And trust, that's not everything. We got this little crystal thing. It's like um, my girlfriend sends a lot of the nail ladies put their monomer in there. Open it up for me. It's cute little dish. Looks like a sugar dish or some some something like that. Then we got a set of three. What is that? Super fine china. What design is that? Um, Mikasa Maxima Super Strong Fine China. 
The design is flowers, floral design. Mm -hmm. We got some vases. Can you turn that over? Some vase, some vases. This one, turn this. Yeah. So I can see the design. Look at that design. Isn't that dope? And then we have like a whole crystal set. Here, I'll show you guys the crystal set in a second. But some more super fine china made in Taiwan. We got some mini teapots. Look, the tops come off of the mini teapots. Bang. Look at the other one. The other one top. The other top comes off. Oh, it does. Awesome. We found a dollhouse. That'll go for about 15 bucks. It's a doll size cupboard. And then some um, plush. What are those called? Push pin. Push pin cushions. Push pin. We also got this crystal. Um, What's it called? Don't put your fish in here. It's a, it's a dope design though. Yeah, looks like a, reminds me of like air animation in Avatar. Great, that's amazing. All right, let me see your perfume, your Vince's perfume thing. I think it, it might be recent, but I saw comps up there for like 15 bucks. But look at that. That's cool, Zach. She's gonna keep that personal item. This purple vase we got. We got another crystal bowl vase thing over there. This pink one. We got a set of two lilies, I think those are. I'm not sure. But they're like soup mugs, coffee mugs, tea mugs. Um, what is this? Cherished Accents Photo Coasters 2x3. We saw sold comp for 15 bucks for the four. Probably clean those up and sell those. Some vintage, some more vintage flower vases, 24K gold, I think was the name of it, or something like that. But those will sell for about 35 each, 70 bucks for the pair. And I'll show you the china in a second. Oh, this right here, another perfume holder, about 15, 20 bucks. So all together, I would say, here, let me show you the china real quick. All right, this is the crystal I was going to show you guys. We got a nice plate right here, or it's like a stand something like that it's like a stand type of deal nice flower designs it's a whole set there's two here one second i say floral themed for sure i wonder if it's worth anything though i didn't see any like um company names or markings or anything it's like a giant ashtray or something like that a fruit fruit plate or something like that and this neat little cup but yeah comment down below if you know anything about these or anything i can search up or compare it to and list it to but yeah free box you know plus 300 question mark 400 question mark oh wish me luck now to take pictures of all this get it listed and that's that literally almost forgot this um I almost forgot this last piece here. It's a Kelvin Chen collectible. But it's pretty much It's a Kelvin Chen collectible. Teapot. Mini teapot. Number 1041. Everything's floral design. I can't believe she got rid of that, but I wonder if it's worth anything. I'll have to check it out. Always keep your eyes open. If you're always looking for an opportunity, you'll find an opportunity. If you're always looking for things to complain about or obstacles, that's all you'll you'll see. Just try to keep an open mindset. I can help you out. I can help you out.